Hey there, my name is Kaysam. Thank you so much for coming to this video. This is going to be the second video that I'm posting after a long time of not posting content. As you can already see here, I have three keyboards lined up. And of course, in the title of the video, it tells you that I am going to show you how to use three or multiple keyboards to do different things in Virtual DJ, whether version 2024 or any other. Now, as you can see here, of course, before we go so much into the details, uh, when you have multiple keyboards connected to your CPU, Virtual DJ detects them as one single keyboard. So when you press any of these keys, they will function the same way and you will not enjoy anything. Now, I have a way out to do this. But of course, before we get there, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that small notification bell. And also thank you for being there if you are my subscriber who has been even in my absence. Thank you so much. And let's get started. Now, I want to check what I mean by running the same functionalities when we have these three keyboards connected without changing anything. Let's just open Virtual DJ to prove to you that it really detects these as one same keyboard. So this is Virtual DJ here, and I have three keyboards connected as you can see. I'm going to go to the mappings area, and I'm going to press a similar key in Virtual DJ. Like for example, this is going to be K on that one keyboard. And then this is also still functioning as K, and also this is K, so it's changing nothing. And if I had some scripts running, uh, you would see them doing the same things. These are different because I already set them and then the space bar is doing different things. Like here it's doing emergency play on the first keyboard, the space bar. This is doing a play starter and it's called the space. This one is called alt space and then the other one is space itself also. I'm going to give uh, space bars on different keyboards, different functionalities for them to do different things. Let's get started with it. Now I have a software. If you watched my previous video, the last video that I posted, I have a software called MKM. We need to make some macros to run these. If you, if you missed the video, it was about how to switch between different mappers very quickly on your keyboard. Please go watch it. It's in the cards up here. And this is a software. Once again, I'm going to leave it in the description of this video so you can just go through or by yourself. That is it. So this is it when you just open it. Let me just minimize virtual digital right here. This is a software right here i have a primary key which is going to serve as the main keyboard which is already here if you don't see it here if you're launching the software for the first time you might not see it but you'll have to come to detect so you can click any key on one of the keyboards that you want to serve as your primary key i need this one here to be my main keyboard i won't change anything i won't rename any letter here i want it to function like a normal keyboard and then I have two secondary keyboards or secondary keyboards. I don't know what you call it. Uh, I'm going to press detect and add them also. Just press any key. So we have this. Now this window pops up. You have uh, disable all. If you, if you do this, it is going to disable all the keys. Only the ones you map will work. I really live, lo love to leave them functioning normally. And then I just change the functionality. I'll press OK. I'll also do the same for the third keyboard, detect, and then say OK. So the primary keyboard is 2A7A. The secondary keyboard number one is Dell Computer Corporation. That is the model. And then I have an HP keyboard. Don't mind me. They're just some old keyboards that I picked from the store. That is it. All right. So what we shall do here is that we shall have to add shortcuts. I won't explain so much about this uh, software. In later videos, I will be tackling them one by one. But we just want some keyboards to serve as some keys on our keyboards to serve as shortcuts. So we shall be adding shortcuts, different shortcuts on different keyboards. Now we shall leave this the same because it's a functional keyboard, it's a primary keyboard, it has everything that will work normally. Most of the changes will be here, and I will compare all those changes with this primary keyboard. Now, what we shall do, let's start with the first one up there, the HP keyboard. Right, so I'm going to add a shortcut. In this case, when you add shortcut, you see this window pops up, right? So this one is telling you to press any key on the keyboard that you want to add as a shortcut. You understand? Shortcuts are window shortcuts. For example, control space, shift space, stuff like that. We shall just be renaming them like that. So I'm going to, to press the space bar. I want to add it as a shortcut. The space bar on the first keyboard up there, 
So we shall give it a shortcut. Let's say uh, control shift and space. Okay, you can see it right here. So during this helps a lot during your mix, you don't have the time to place five fingers. So you, instead of doing that and mess up your music, you just have to use this one now. So we have it as a shortcut. When you press the space bar, it's going to run this shortcut here for you. Uh, let's give a different shortcut to this second one here. So let's come to that was the HP keyboard. Let's come to the Dell course and then add shortcut. I'm going to press any key. In this case, I want to use a similar key. So still the space bar. And then this one, let's just give it like maybe shift space bar like that. You can check it right here and press OK. Uh, this one will remain as the space, of course. This will remain as space. Let's just do it for doing, but we don't need to change anything from it. Let's just call it space like that. So that's done. This is what we need to do in this software. I'll come back to it and explain some more things that you need to know. But let's get back to Virtual DJ. Just close it. You have it noted. All right. So when we go back to Virtual DJ, I believe it's down here. Let me just maximize it. We have these three keyboards. I have used space bars only to show you differences in what I mean. Now when I open here and come to Advanced Mapping Options, Starting from up there, this should be called Control Shift Space, and I can give it a different function. I already did this before. I have a browser scroll plus one. I'll demonstrate that. And then when I come to the second keyboard here, it is called Shift Space, and I can give it a different function like Select. Okay. I give it a different map, or rather. Select is right here. It's going to select between deck A and deck B. And then the last one down here, also the space bar. Is called space remember in the software and i had given it a play starter these are now three different keyboards running three different functions on similar keys so when i save my mapping uh let me just load some song here i don't know if i should minimize it due to copyright and mute it rather so remember this was play start okay this was select This was browser scroll plus one. All right, so it's good these things have happened at the right time. Now, if there are some functions that will not work properly on secondary keys and you should be aware of, one of the functions is the browser scroll plus one instead selects music instead of scrolling through the browser. That could be useful if you want maybe to like analyze or do batch things, but if you just want to scroll through, then you should do that on your primary key. Another thing that will not work on a secondary key is uh, to do a function while pressed. Any function that you need, maybe you want to have a, 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 an effect while pressed, while pressed, anything that is going to be happening while pressed should be here on the, second, on the primary keyboard. Another thing that will not work are these three functions. Q, play, and sync. These functions will not work. The only things that will work will be effects, the pads, the knobs and other stuff so that is it so we have to change these functionalities play starter can go to any other keyboard let me just do that here on this on the, the hp let this be play okay like play starter um let's just use play starter and then uh, i will come to this other one select would be okay and then i come back home let this be like browser scroll. Yeah, let this be browser scroll. I have a caps lock. Like browser scroll. I think I have it here, right down here. Browser scroll plus one. Like that. So this, this should be able to work. Save it and then close and check. So browser scroll plus one is working very well on a primary key and you can check it and then this should be select you can see it selecting between deck a deck b a and b but also you should now take time just for the interest of time i don't want to keep the video so long you should take time and then explore some things that will not function on a secondary key if play starter doesn't work on your secondary keyboard then you should bring it back here but that is basically how you run different keyboards with different scripts same similar keys on your keyboards. 
Now, a few things as I summarize is that I'm going to go back to the software. There are some things that you must know. I have it right here running. So when you're here, you need to save your macros. You have these macros, but for the computer, for the software to remember it the next time you start up the software, the computer rather, you have to save it. I'm just going to give it any name and then save it. Uh, two other things that you should know is that you should allow the software to remember the, the, to, to start the, the macros automatically. It is going to start the macros as soon as it is open. So you should check this to make sure the software opens itself anytime you boot up your computer. And also, if you don't want to see this window every time, then you should let it run on the tray down here. So by checking this software, it's going to open. By checking this button, it's going to open up while it is minimized. You'll find it down here running. So anytime you just log into your computer, the software will start running in the background. The macros will all be K. So that is it for today. I hope you're going to explore and then give me feedbacks. Please comment down below and also give a thumbs up if you like the video. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.